you work a lot of with documentary, you've done a lot of music videos. Um, what is the type of work that you really like doing? What is the kind of thing that, that's the type of work that you love, absolutely love? Mm, I think for me, uh, I've always had like a really strong pull towards documentaries. Um, and just working within a medium that allows you to pursue like really high levels of truth as you know something working towards like an, an ideal or a, or like something that like my films or my narratives chase um the untold legacy of Andrew Mlangeni to have something so important overlooked yeah uh you know was was such an interesting thing for me to make a film about because of the kind of questions that I would like people to or the kind of conversations I like people to have after watching the film Future Sound again does that because um, we we kind of uh, start a conversation about the electronic music scene in South Africa, yeah. uh, and it's it's something that it's p something that people consume locally and internationally. People know the artists, people listen to their music on SoundCloud, but they don't really know what the musicians like look like or sound like or where do they live or how tall or short they are, yeah. and. Then when you when you expose people to the to that to that information, they start to ask other questions about you know uh, South Africa, and it's just like oh I didn't realize this is how South Africa looked or this is how South Africans feel about this kind of thing, and 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 that's that's what I like about documentary is that it 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 it, it creates a conversation beyond just the work. So maybe a music video, not that it's limiting, but it has a very definitive start and end point. Yeah. But you know, as a medium, what if we could go beyond that? I think what you say about um, <clears throat> you know almost exporting South African culture through something like Future Sound of Mzanzi is so important. It lets people see, look at this amazing culture and this amazing music scene coming from South Africa. Um, especially if you look at the the interest in the South African and African continent at the moment. I mean, people people want to know what's happening here. They want to see what's what's bubbling under and who are the people to watch and. Um, and I think South Africa is one of the largest house music scenes in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, the, stats, yeah, the stats are like we're the biggest consumers of yeah. house music in the world. Yeah, and um, it's almost as if there was no story told about that. Mm. Um, but you guys have now told that story. You've ma managed to put something out there that's now being picked up by Vice. Um, you said Heisner Bayati is interested in stuff like that. Um, so it's, it's cool to see a story about South Africa being told on all these other, other channels. As something that's positive? Yes, exactly. Something that carries with it like a sense of optimism, mm -hmm. um, you know, against all the other stuff that's being said about South Africa. Yeah. Um, I think Africa and South Africa is a big interest piece in the world. Everyone wants to know what's going on here. So I think as a filmmaker, to be in a position to tell people what's going on here, but in a way in which it will just be nice yeah. Nice to we look at. To come here, nice yeah. to hear. You yeah. know, it's like why, why, why can't we just? Why do we have to keep telling these bad stories? There are beautiful stories for us to tell. Positive stories. Mm, mm, mm. And I don't think I don't think I don't think positivity and optimism is like as naff. Or you know, I don't think being earnest is like a naff thing. I think yeah. maybe people think it's corny, but it's not really. It's kind of really like nice to be positive about you know. Yeah. So, so let's talk a little bit about um, challenges and opportunities face, uh, that face filmmakers and, and creatives in the country. So what challenges did you have um, doing the films and, mu and music videos that you do? Um, I think maybe one of the biggest challenges we have as South Africans is um, being quite insular. Um, I think not realizing how much power we have in the conversation around, you know, like whatever is happening at a global level. Um, I don't think we realize like how much say we have in, in that, in that conversation, you know. Um, I think it's, um, I don't know what it is, maybe. maybe it's just a function of our past. It's something I talk about quite a lot, yeah. but we're not so keen to celebrate our culture and ourselves and our identity and how we look and feel because maybe it was never made to seem that important. Yeah. So one of the biggest problems we have is waiting for international affirmation before we can rally behind something. 
It's almost like we don't believe in ourselves in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That self belief, that self belief is uh, is something that we all we all kind of uh, like struggle with. Um, and I think that starting a narrative around, like I said, being you know positive, being like believing in yourself is 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 kind of as important, you know. Yeah. Like another example that I always make is about America. America is so self-important because of how their media sells them that story of themselves. Yeah, let's right? talk about themselves all the time. Let's talk about themselves. You're great. You're whatever amazing. happens, yeah. whatever happens, yeah. there will yeah. be an alien, there will be a form of terrorism, there's Chinese, there's Russians, and they will come to America, and there will be a, like, a, like a John Wayne character, like a cowboy, uh, you know, a Bruce Willis, and he'll come in and save the day, yeah. And at the end of the day, America's rad, it's cool, it's awesome. And that's why it's, it's so easy for Americans to be arrogant. Yeah. And uh, we've, got, we've got so much to offer. And so, so in terms of like what we have to offer, what do you find the, the amazing opportunities are with being in South Africa? Um, I mean, from our side, running a business like between 10 and 5, I, it's difficult to me to imagine that we could have done what we do out in a different country. Um, and I think that the opportunities presented to creators in South Africa is, is massive. Um, how do you find that, that in, the, in the things that you do? Mm, if you think about like uh, space, yep. uh, think about space as a metaphor for South Africa. Uh, the first people that went to space were just like, oh my God. Yeah. And there was just this like boundless, infinite like thing that had always been there, but Maybe we didn't have the resources or the tools or the skills to be able to navigate the space, but now we do because uh, people are a lot more like self-aware. Uh, there's also just a, like the documentation, how we like, it's so easy to document something like smartphones and cameras and, and sharing that yeah. stuff as well. Um, so that in itself is presented people a chance to like voice you know their stories be a lot more con uh, a lot more in control yeah. of how they're represented um, just uh, I guess I guess the point is that we we've been represented in a particular way for a really long time mm -hmm. but now the opportunity is to kind of uh, create like a whole system overhaul yeah where we like no that's not really what we look like that's not really how we talk we talk like this and that in itself is an opportunity opportunity for representation yeah. for self-representation you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah. there's a lot more agency um there's a lot more and like people can't you can't like you won't be like a caricature anymore you can just be yourself yeah. and that's totally cool and that in itself is like an opportunity to like do something or say something or or be somebody